And good morning. It's your friendly neighborhood Toronan. And today we're looking at the F7F Tiger Cat. This is more of a goodbye video. Um, I haven't got a whole lot left to go on this before we move on to the flying pancake. And then we have to, uh, and I've got to earn about a million in silver to do that. And it is going to be a sorrowful farewell because I've really enjoyed the aircraft. I don't mean kind of enjoyed it, I mean really enjoyed it. And we have a BF109Z twin. And I've got somebody on my tail pretty bad. And I'm hoping that I can outrun him. Apparently I have done just that. Now in combat I have found that the uh, Tiger Cat is superior to the uh, Zwilling in about every way you can imagine. And I'm going to go ahead and get out of that area. I don't see a lot of help and I do see a uh, F4U-1 on my uh, teammate's tail here. Folks, um, you've heard me preach about this before, but if you do not take care of your fellow pilots, this gets to be the rottenest game in the world. As in, very frustrating as you find out that one against five, even if you have the better aircraft, doesn't count for a whole lot, does it? Should put up the alt view. I guess shooting up a mountaintop's not all that useful. And I'm going to be moving a lot faster than he is, so we're going to execute a couple of S turns while slowing down the aircraft to something a little more manageable. And we're going to preserve our rocket base. <clears throat> Here comes our buddy, the 109Z. Not sure what got him, but whoever it is, or maybe he was on fire, I don't know, but I didn't touch him. Now, this is where you really can tell you're an arcade. You're moving almost 90 degrees to the vertical in a propeller aircraft, and you are uh, not doing a hammerhead stall. And 
guy is still above me. Well, good lord. Okay, I've stalled out. I've got to pick up some air speed here. And we're going to return to the hangar. It's times like that you miss the P-51H. That sucker's perfectly happy at 10,000 feet. Okay, we destroyed seven, captured two zones. Uh, I don't think I expended a bomb or rocket one. In the summary screen, let y'all see that. And team score. Guess I did okay. All right, now when it comes to upgrades, the sale of this aircraft will be about 1.2 mil, and I need 265. And I don't want to use my experience points when I can just fly this another time or two and get all the experience I need out of it. But that's going to be the next one, and I'm kind of looking forward to this. It starts off with uh, four machine guns, but it moves up to uh, a 420 millimeters pretty quickly. Uh, survivability is excellent. Airspeed it starts off at 497 and goes up to 516. Pretty nice. Maneuverability is going to be 13 seconds, which is going to be uh, pretty good for this type of aircraft. And I'm kind of fascinated by this, the Teeny Tims. Uh, this is an interesting uh, rocket. And you're going to ask me, okay, what's so terrific about it? They <laughs> you might want to look it up on Wikipedia, because if I told you, you'd think I was a liar. But it was a huge rocket, uh, mounted a very large warhead. Um, and you can see it does 4,500 damage. Blast rate is a 230. Uh, the 2,000-pound bombs are probably going to be more useful. Um, it will be interesting to see. What it does, yeah, negative 13, negative 13, negative 13. So you're going to lose a little bit of uh, speed to it. Um... But the 2,000 pounders are probably going to be more useful to you than the, the teeny Tims, even though those are far more fascinating. Um, we'll have to try it out. But I'm looking forward to this aircraft. Uh, the speed alone is going to be pretty nice. You throw some aircraft polish on it. Uh, and uh, I would probably go the other direction on this aircraft uh, and go with the heavy airframe and the... Uh, uh, improve skin and get it more uh, hit points be uh, because that's a hundred another 120 hit points uh, you start already start off with 600 uh, you get the airframe 650 so um, it can make it one very tough aircraft and it's very much in line with the tiger cat before it uh, it's actually it can turn a little faster than the tiger cat And it's a little faster than a Tiger Cat. You know. So, uh, that will be interesting. 
it'll be an interesting aircraft to fly. So I'll let you know as soon as I get it. You'll show it, see, expect to see it on the video as soon as I gather enough money. And I hate to let this one go. I certainly enjoyed it. Uh, far more than I'd ever thought I'd ever enjoy a heavy fighter. I have enjoyed this. Um, it's just been a great plane. It's fast. Uh, no, it's not going to outrun a P-51 or something, but uh, it's fast. Um, the bomb load is extremely useful. I actually, a couple of flights before this, took the bomb loads off, and it brought it up to 460. Yeah. Yeah, it's okay, but it didn't. But you couldn't have the same impact with this. You can turn around. You can really smash an airfield uh, and take out two ground targets with the. Uh, because the bomb underneath it is 1,600 pounds. Well, that's a hell of a wallop. You know, look at this. Um, well, 1,000 pounds, but still 6,000. I'm sorry. Uh, I was thinking of another aircraft. Glad I checked. That's 6,000 on a 300-foot, 300, uh, 300, uh, 300 mile. Well, I'm sorry. We're actually carrying fat men underneath these. Uh, they didn't go 300-mile blast diameter. Um Joking, joking. I already had one troll jumping. Um, but you're not, uh, it's a very effective bomb. Uh, and then the rocket loadout, you've got eight of them. Um, so if you place your bomb correctly, and you can take out one of the smaller uh, hard targets, and then you can use your rockets to take out another one. And typically... That, and if somebody takes out a third one, even mining plants will uh, become yours. So, uh, in fact, one of my favorite tricks is to use the uh, rockets on uh, the area with all the buildings and then use the bomb on the big building in the smokestack. And that will usually take care of most, if not all of it. You may have one very damaged building you have to come back, swing around and finish off. And that is about 60% of a mining plant by itself. Um, the guns are extremely effective on this. Uh, they're good dogfighting weapons. They're good anti-fighter weapons. Nobody dogfight with one of these things. Are you insane? Um, and you'll notice when you stand in front of it, look at how... They're arranged. You've got this area that you don't have to um, invert into a cone in front of you. They can come out as a straight stream and rip an aircraft out of the sky. Um, you may have seen me take out an IL-8, um, especially during this the uh, this video. Uh, and when you start thinking about all that. Uh, and there's a uh, fight before this where I took out about five of the uh, of, uh, ground attacks and they averaged anywhere from 1,400 to 2,000 uh, survival points apiece. And that's pretty impressive. Uh, as an anti-bomber uh, fighter, it is the, uh, one of the best in the game. Uh, and it's fast and it works at a fairly good altitude. And that's really what you want for and I know with the bots they'll chase after them but one of the favorite strategies with this aircraft is to find out where the the bombers are showing up at get right next to the entry point blast them all out of the sky your bots don't go chasing their bots the bombers get nowhere near the battle zone and so they go fight what they're supposed to fight instead of chasing bombers and sometimes that can work out um, I've had a lot of success with it. So uh, I know I preach against everybody in the world going after bombers, but your heavy fighters uh, and some of your multi-rolls are extremely good at it. Leave it to them. You know, go fight the other fighters. Uh, go dominate uh, in airspace. Let them do their bit. If you see heavy fighters up there, uh, especially if they're manned hip, you know, as opposed to robots, They'll do the job without you interfering if you drive it as a, a single-seater, um, single-engine fighter. There are some that are very good at it. Uh, the KI-94, the KI-84 uh, can really rip a plane out of the sky. I don't care what they are, but 
they're better used against other fighters. So if you got uh, it's a sit lucky situation where you've got a uh, good pilot and a heavy fighter, uh, let them deal with it. And if they're smart, they'll tell you, "Hey, I've got this. Just go on and do your do your thing." And that's a good division of labor, and it will get you more wins than not. All right, that'll uh, that'll do it for today. Listen, I do appreciate you so much for watching the videos, um, and. I'm going to say very regretful and uh, goodbye to the F-7F. It's been a wonderful aircraft. I've certainly enjoyed it. Um, couldn't have asked for a better aircraft at this tier, and it's been beautiful. I just wish that they'd uh, uh, swept back the wings, added a couple of uh, turbojets to it, put a bubble canopy on it, and... Uh, find a way to make it into uh, tier 8 with it because I'd much prefer that over the flying pancake. Not that it wasn't a wonderful fighter. It never got a chance to really fly. But, uh, wow. This was just wonderful. It is a... Uh, uh, been such a pleasure to fly. Yeah, I'm getting modeling about it. Alright, folks. Uh, remember to like the video and to subscribe. I desperately need subscribers. And I thank you so much for watching. You have a great day.